Major cleanup expected in South LA, where there's been a water main break. Tens of thousands of gallons of water have been rushing down the street. And water is still coming out of the ground. KKL 9's Joy Benedict is live near Manchester and Hoover, where this main break is causing a lot of problems. And we're looking at some crews trying to help the situation right now. Joy? Yeah, that's right. What we had was we had a lady who came through the barrier thinking she could get somewhere. She got too close. The crew started screaming at her because obviously the ground is unstable here. They certainly don't know what's going to happen, but they were able to back her up. Unfortunately, it looks like her car was starting to smoke a little bit. Um, she probably is a little bit too low, low down to trying to be driving through this water, and she may have blown it. But um, I want to show you where we are right now. This is actually the area where it appears the water main break happened on Hoover, very close to Manchester. You can see how the the asphalt has buckled um, and it is unstable and that's why obviously they don't want people driving through here. It's a 24 inch water main pipe that busted just before four o'clock or so this morning. The pressure obviously created these problems. If you look all the way down to the left hand side over here, that's where we have a church as well as a nursing home. I did go and check on the nursing home. It doesn't appear that they have any water damage. It's not clear about the church yet as they are not open, but certainly a very alarming situation. I want now want to pan all the way over to the right hand side. That's where we have the intersection um, at Manchester and Hoover. You see we have some crews out here. They're putting up more cones since People aren't seeming to understand that they cannot drive through this area as they're doing their best to try and shut off not only this water main pipe, pipe but also the eight inch pipes that are around it. And if you look even further down, you see where the, the cars are driving through there all the way down to the 110. I don't know if you can see that from the angle as the cars have come in before us, but the water is rushing all the way down there and certainly creating problems for drivers all over. We've been talking to folks who are out and about. Everybody's grabbing their cell phones. Really a spectacle out here and folks not knowing what to think. I was coming to the gas station and just ran into this. What do you think of it? Crazy. Horrible. Look at it. They look like they can swim in Look at in that. that. Yeah, you can go swimming in there. I seen That's a man you. just walking with his shoes and his socks. <laughs> Again, a lot of folks not sure what to do out here, but now you can see a better angle all the way down to the 110 freeway there at the Manchester exit. I would advise if you need to be in this area, you find an alternate route because Manchester is pretty much flooded all the way from the 110 past Hoover to where the water main break happened. You see the crews out here. They're telling me that this is going to take some time. They have been able to shut off the smaller pipes around it, but they need to divert this 24 inch pipe, the water from it, before they shut it off. In order to shut it off, they got to bring in some heavier equipment. They are expecting to be out here for quite some time. The good news is, though, they have been able to slow it down. I can see very clearly where the water has receded, especially over there by the church and over here by the center where the break happened. So they are making some progress, but it's probably going to be a long time coming. And we'll be out here with another update in about 30 minutes or so. Guys. All right, Joy, we'll look forward to that. Thank you.